Chapter 26 Early Earth and the Origin of Life Meet our characters. Daniel, an amateur, doesn't know much about early earth and the origin of life. Dr. Turtleneck knows many things and is well versed on chapter 26. Daniel was always a curious kid. He always wondered, what's the meaning of life? When did life on earth originate and how? What was the first genetic material? Some questions we might never know the answer to, but luckily we can answer these. Dr. Turtleneck is actually a geologist and not a philosopher, so we won't be able to answer the first one, but we can definitely answer the last two. So, the Earth formed around 4.5 billion years ago, and life really wouldn't take place until a couple hundred million years after, because at first, primordial Earth was actually a very hostile environment for life. We know that life started between 3.5 and 4 billion years ago because, if we look towards the carbon isotopes found in Greenland, we can see clear metabolic imprints of activity of simple organisms and cells found, and we can carbon date them to about 3.8 billion years ago. Prokaryotes were the first cells to ever survive. The fossil record proves this. Their simple structure and their ease of being the offspring of chemical evolution is what made them the first cells to ever survive on Earth. Eventually, more complex cells like eukaryotes came around, and they have membrane-bound organelles. After that, eventually, simple multicellular organisms came to be, and then later, more specialized and complex organisms. Chemical evolution is the formation of complex organic molecules from simpler inorganic molecules through chemical reactions in the oceans during the early history of the Earth. The leading theory on chemical evolution essentially states that the abiotic synthesis of organic monomers led to probions forming by self-assembly. Probions are essentially molecules that have been synthesized abiotically. Though they don't have all the characteristics that are required to be considered a living organism, they are a precursor to living organisms and exhibit many of the properties though they cannot reproduce by themselves. The reason we know that probions can form by self-assembly is because the same result was replicated in laboratory experiments. We see that probions could have formed spontaneously from abiotically produced compounds. So yeah, RNA was probably the first genetic material, and several scientists have actually tested the hypothesis of RNA self-replication, and they see that RNA is actually able to self-replicate in an abiotic environment. And we can even see natural selection and Darwinian principles apply on the molecular level. Thanks to the help of Dr. Turtleneck, Daniel is no longer an amateur. I hope you also learned something about the early earth and the origin of life. Life is abundant now, and whether it started from a deep sea vent or a shallow coral reef, all that matters is that you learned something about how we got here.